I want to make a quick video pointing out the irony of woke, liberal, socially liberal SJW Disney actually yoking up and partnering with anti-Muslim and anti-homosexual Chinese communists, you know, the Communist Party of China, you know, uh, because as it turns out, there are some countries who don't actually uh, uh, go along with the immorality that's, that's very common in Hollywood. But the ironic thing about that is that Disney pushes all this woke liberal ideology upon their Western audience, but they won't dare push this kind of stuff over in China. And this is just ironic. I mean, it's hilarious because these, these, a lot of these SJWs and liberals, they're never consistent in their stances. So, it says here in the article on Breitbart, uh, Disney's Mulan thanks Chinese officials who oversee concentration camps. For those of you who don't know what's going on over in China, they're essentially rounding up these uh, Uyghur Muslims, putting them in concentration camps. You know, yeah, and this is who Disney's actually yoking up with while, you know, claiming that they're some kind of woke liberal SJW and they want to make a film, you know, essentially, uh, you're Islamophobic and you criticize Islam, but then we're going to yoke up with these people who are these Chinese communists who are literally putting Muslims in concentration camps. Real consistent right there, yeah. But it says Disney's Mulan thanked Chinese officials who oversee concentration camps. When it was released in 2020, Disney's live-action movie, movie Milan uh, used its end credits to thank an official Chinese government security bureau, bureau located in the Uyghur concentration camps. The end credits include a special thank you to the Turpan Municipal, Municipal sorry, Bureau of Public Security, which runs a concentration camp for Uyghur Muslims, where detainees are forced to recite Communist Party propaganda. That's, 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 that's woke liberal SJW Disney for you. You know, pushing, you know, essentially in the Western world, if you were to like say something about Islam, you know, I, I guarantee you if their CEO would say something about Islam, they hear that I was for being Islamophobic, but then they're going to actually partner with these people who are putting Muslims in concentration camps. Yeah. You know, it's a bunch of, of just inconsistent garbage. It's, it, it's hypocrisy at its finest, but then when it comes to woke liberals, you know, being actually consistent is a bit too much to ask for, from them anyway, so... But continuing on in the article, uh, Disney's closest to the C closeness to the CCP was something that began long before uh, Bob Chapek, I call him Bob Paycheck because that's really what he was in it for, uh, became CEO uh, and Iger was one of the chief architects of Disney's ambitions in China. And here's also the further irony of all this. Uh, Disney sells gay pride merchandise made in anti-LGBTQ China. Yeah. In its continued efforts to pander to the gays, Disney has launched LGBTQ-themed Pride Collection fashion line this year, but it turns out that, that the line features clothing manufactured in China, which continues to regard homosexuality as a mental disorder, which it is, uh, and recently announced that the, a crackdown on sissy men in entertainment. Yeah, exactly, because they don't want a lot of this Western immorality uh, infecting their culture. It's crazy when you think about it that atheist communists over in China actually have better morals than the Western world in many ways. In that area, okay, of course, China's got all kinds of problems, but says here, continuing on the article, Disney said it would donate some of its profits to groups to support LGBTQIA youth and families. Uh, China decriminalized homosexuality in 1997, but the CCP still looks unfavorably upon gay people and significantly restricts uh, displays of alleged homosexual or effeminate behavior. It yeah, was well, just recently, I think it was like September of last year, they passed some law that was like banning uh, video games with uh, homosexual content in it, which, you know, they don't want that stuff in their culture, but it's just ironic how the, the Disney will just heavily push this uh, homosexual ideology upon the West, upon their Western audience, essentially. But then they go over to China, and then they kind of just, they kind of, they, they essentially will be totally silent on the whole thing. And yeah, it's a bunch of just inconsistency on their side. But but again, you know, what do you expect from woke liberal SJWs? That's the thing. They've gone from being entertainment, you know, for families to now being a political propaganda arm for these blue haired feminists all over the internet who just whine and complain at everything. So anyway, wanted to point that out, just the irony of the whole thing, just the total complete irony. And just how these inconsistencies, the inconsistency of these woke liberals is just, it's every, it's just constant pretty much. But again, asking for any kind of uh, consistency with them is a bit too much to ask. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.